Hello everyone, this is Meredith from Eat Search Explorer. Today I have another unboxing video for you. It's slightly different than my ones in the past because this isn't like a subscription or anything. This is just something I wanted to share with you. Um, so I want to first thank you for subscribing to this channel. I kind of thought it was just going to be me talking to my future me and then talking to my sister and maybe my best friend. Um, so today I just was like planning on just testing out my new setup. So I have like a light if you haven't noticed, I'm sure you did. Um, but before this I was actually filming with a desk lamp so <laughs> you can see that it was a lot darker than it is right now. So I hope that that works. So this is the first sort of video where I open PR, but I kind of am thinking about doing a series like this just because I think it's very fascinating. So if there's any sort of product that you want me to do like kind of my honest review about, um, just let me know, like a general category, because honestly I, I receive so many emails and I reject about 90% of them just because it's a lot of work and I'm a very lazy person. Um, so just let me know below what kind of things I should keep an eye out for. So if you're not aware, I've actually been writing a personal blog since I think 2013 when I moved to Korea. Um, and I just kind of use it as a way to like write down some thoughts and maybe some opinions about the places I travel to. Um, and then I ended up moving to Kobe, Japan. Anyway, this is far too much information. Um, so anyway, I've been writing that blog for a while. So I've been receiving PR for I guess a couple of years now. And then on top of that, I also have like a few thousand followers on Instagram. Um, so if you're interested to see like more of my day to day and kind of my blog side, um, definitely um, check out my Instagram. It's always linked below in my description. So this item I received to review, I think on like a regular consumer website, um, but basically I just need to review the items. So um, this unboxing and everything was not part of the agreement that I had with them. So this will be my true first impressions and this will not be my full review because I haven't obviously not used the product yet. Um, so basically this item I chose because I've actually looking for this item for myself for my personal life. Um, so if I ended up really liking this product, um, I would be happy to share it with my followers. Um, so this is what I received and I hope it's not too glary. So it is the Savitz 10 and these are active noise cancelling Bluetooth headphones. They're wireless. Um, so basically I just decided to receive this just because I was already looking for a product like this and if this one worked out well, it's at a pretty reasonable price point. I'll look it up to be completely sure, but I think it's around $60, which I think is pretty reasonable for this sort of product. Um, so I'm going to read the back of the box here. So it's the Savitz 10 Active Noise Cancelling Headphones. And then it says it's 90 degree swiveling ear cups and adjustable to fit your head. Um, so again, the earpieces go up and down and then the earpieces themselves go side to side. And this is professional active noise cancelling technology, perfect sound quality regardless of environment. Um, the next bullet point is a little bit weird. It says more than 10,000 positive reviews plus best seller online. So I mean like I don't know why the company is going heavy on that because I mean I would assume that eventually if this is a great product they would have like 100,000. I mean it would always be more than 10,000 but I don't know why they're printing so many boxes with more than 10,000. The next item here it says high quality built-in microphone for smooth hands-free calling so honestly i didn't know that when i signed up for this product but that's a great bonus because my current um, bluetooth headphones they don't have a wire wireless microphone so every time i answer a phone call i have to disconnect from the bluetooth to answer the phone with my hands you know the whole thing um so it'd be great if this is really a nice product because everything will be in one sort of package. The next one says comfortable protein ear pads with 90 degrees swiveling extendable ear cups. So honestly I think maybe something was lost in translation. It says comfortable protein ear pads. Leave a comment below if you think that's something that I'm missing. Um, maybe it's something that people who are audiophiles look for. I don't know. I, I, just, I just like listen to stuff and if I can understand it it's great. Um, and then it says here 30 hour playtime when in wireless mode with an advanced 750 milliampere's battery. Um, so we'll see how this is. It does look like there are three colors available, black, white, and blue. So I did receive the black one, I hope. Um, so then it also looks like there are some items in here that are included. Uh, it has the headphones and then it has a charging cable and then also um, a cable that will help you in case you want to have it not be wireless if you want to change it to wired. So I haven't opened it yet at all as you can see here. Um, so I'll just kind of take my scissors here and open the shrink wrap. So it kind of seems like they don't want anyone to open this because I'm struggling pretty hard. Um, so let me try even more to open this. Um, so yeah, I received it in the mail today and I definitely thought it was going to be the lighting, um, but it wasn't. So you weren't didn't get the whole full experience of me being confused when I opened the box. So let me pull this out here. 
Um, so I, hopefully now it's a little bit less glary. So you can see this is the black sort of modern look that it is. Um, it looks like there might be some controls on the side here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. So that's kind of interesting. I'm um, very interested in trying that out. And then let's see. It's kind of a heavy package too, so I'm a little bit excited to try that out. Um, just because maybe it's a little bit higher quality than what I have going for me right now. Um, so let me try to pull it open here. Okay, so this is what it looks like right when I pull it open. Um, so I'm happy to see that there is a user guide on top. I mean, I'm probably one of the only millennials, but I really do enjoy reading a paper user guide. I hate it when they're like, scan this QR code to read it online. Like, no, I want to be able to do it the same time as having it next to me and setting everything up. Um, so it's a pretty intense user guide, I think. Let me see here. It looks like it is available for iPhone, iPad, smartphone, notebook, MP3, MP4, etc. So I mean, I don't know what the etc is, but I think they got the basis covered. Um, it says the power supply is either the lithium battery or a micro USB cable. So I guess maybe you can like listen to it when it's plugged in charging, I don't know. So I think that this might actually be a Korean brand. I'm not entirely sure, but the site I used is a Korean website. Um, user guide is in Korean, so bear with me. Um, I'm sure there's English in here too, let me look. Um, so there is a large um, Japanese portion here as well, and it's also in Korean, but if you go on the back, it looks like they have smaller, <laughs> smaller information sections for setting it up in English, and then it looks like in French, German and Italian. Um, so if you speak any of those languages, they got you covered. Um, so let's see, getting started. Um, it's not that useful, it just says put it on and try to set it up, so we'll see. So it looks like there are some controls on the headphones themselves, and then also this is how you set it up on your computer. Um, so within the headphone controls, you can do a volume up, next song, volume down, previous song, play, pause, answer, end a call, or um, set up for pairing. Um, so it looks like the next thing in this box is, as I said, that pouch. And I guess it's kind of like um, a vegan leather pouch, aka one of the best sort of um, remarketing or rebranding experiments of the 21st century. Um, so it is like a drawstring pouch to keep them in, which is great. Um, it's not super drawstringy, but um, we'll see. I can't really do it that easily, so maybe this is something that I'll have to do off camera. Um, it doesn't really seem to be moving. I might need to take a stitch ripper to it or something. It just seems like maybe they um, stitched a little bit into the rope, but that will be nice to protect these headphones. And then here is what the headphones themselves look like. Um, so they're pretty stylish, I think. Let me pull them out. So this is what they look like. They're kind of hefty, I would say. Um, so they're like this. Let me quickly pull off the, the little wrapper here so it doesn't make the crinkling sound. Um, so basically, as I said, it looks like these swivel from side to side like this, and they also swivel back and forth like this, and then you must be able to, yeah, you can adjust the head pieces and the ear pieces like that. Um, they are have they do have a really nice cushion here. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's a pretty sizable cushion. Okay, and then it seems like the cushions are not removable, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, so you can't really clean underneath them, but it does seem like it's pretty nice. Let me pull off the other sticker. So I'm actually pretty happy with these. I think that they're pretty reasonably priced, like I said. I think they're like $60, but I will find the information and maybe link it below if you're interested. I think they are available on Amazon, but let me test this out. So let me just try them on real quick. So it does look like they do label which ear is for which earphone. Um, so let me put them on. So I think that it actually feels like it fits pretty well. And I can already say that um, I can barely hear myself talking right now. So I think that even without the whole active noise canceling on, it does work pretty well to insulate the sound. So I'm pretty happy with these so far. Um, but I can't really talk about how it works for um, audio yet because I haven't plugged it in or set it up. Um, so it does look like it comes with a charging cable here. Um, so it does look like it's a, just a normal general like USB charging cable. And then here is what I mentioned before for the, I guess the noise canceling portion. Let me look at that user guide. Um, so I accidentally read the Italian one, so it wasn't making super a lot of sense. Um, so yes, let me see here, the cable connection. 
Okay, great. So actually I did find, so this is able to be connected to just your regular auxiliary port for um, headphones, um, but these are Bluetooth enabled, so I am able to use them without char um, putting in the headphone adapter, if that makes sense. I do have an iPhone, so I'm not able to use like a headphone thing without the little cable adapter thing. Um, so that would have been a major bummer if I couldn't test it out. But let me see if I can quickly pair it with my computer. So at the bottom here, it does have the Bluetooth switch, so I hope you can see this. Um, so I'm going to turn it on and see if I can connect it with my computer. Hold on one second. Maybe it, maybe it was charged a little bit when it was shipped. So pairing it was pretty easy, I would say. You just have to turn it to Bluetooth and then it took like two seconds to connect to my Bluetooth on my computer. Um, so I'm going to test it out on the video right now. So I found a video and right now I'm playing it. Um, so this is just with the regular Bluetooth. I would say that the sound quality sounds about the same as when I'm listening it through it, like just like computer playing audio um, through the speakers. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out how to turn on the noise canceling portion of the headphones. Okay, so I'm looking here on the description here about the LED status. Um, so maybe I'll pull this up here. Um, so when it's blue on the on your LED display, that means that you have the Bluetooth connected, and when it's white, it means that the active noise canceling is connected. So right now, mine is white. Um, so basically what I did is I just switched over here on the control, power control here, and I just switched it to the thing that says NC, I mean, obviously. Um, so let me try it now. Um, so I guess what I would say is I probably would just personally stick with the Bluetooth. The sound quality isn't quite as good when I have it on the noise canceling. It sounds like a little bit more muffled, like sure, I can't really hear the ambient noise outside, um, but like the some of the background noise, I guess, within the video itself is a little bit more muffled. So it depends on what kind of experience you want, but I would say I'm very happy with these headphones. So if you're somebody like me and you're not super into like um, the bass or whatever, I don't know, music terms. Um, but I would say this is a pretty good option for you just because everything is very easy to set up and it's a very comfortable pair of headphones to use. However, if you want to have really like high quality sound and you want to have an active noise canceling headphone set, I would say this probably is not for you just because everything does sound a little bit more muffled. I hope that makes sense. Since you can't hear what I heard, I don't know if you can understand what I'm trying to say because I am not an electronics reviewer. Um, but basically, I'm very happy to have this and it is a great price point. Um, so if you just want something that will be great for you to help you kind of concentrate at work and then also be able to answer phone calls and stuff, I would say this is a great option for you. So I hope this video was not too long. I'm sure it was. And um, thank you for watching this long and I hope it was helpful and informative. Um, if you enjoy this sort of unboxing video or open some mail and PR that I received, just leave a comment or like the video or something, give me some feedback. Um, and then let me know what kind of things you want me to unbox next. Um, so I do receive a lot of PR emails and honestly I kind of reject most of them if I'm being honest just because I'm not that interested in doing a lot of extra work. Um, but just like let me know what kind of products you want me to keep my eye out for um, because then I will definitely help you out and give you my honest feedback in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Goodbye.